In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve these three simultaneous equations. Now to do this, we're going to use matrices and a process of Gaussian or Gaussian elimination. Now the first thing we need to do is to set up what we call an augmented matrix. So we have some brackets like this, and we take the coefficients of each of these terms and place them into the matrix. So for this first equation here, we have a coefficient of 1, negative 2, and 1. And on the right-hand side here, we have negative 2. The second row here, we have 2, negative 3, and 2, and 2 here. And for the third one, we have 4, negative 8, 5, and negative 5. Now to find a solution for these three equations, what I want to have is what we call the identity matrix on this left-hand side here. Now the identity matrix looks like this. We have a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Now this column here would be the x terms, this would be the y terms, and this would be the z or z terms. So here we would have that x well, that would be whatever this value here is, y would be whatever value we have here, and z would be whatever value we have here. So in this example here, if this was 1, 0, 0, we would know that x would be negative 2, and that would be one of the solutions for the x term. So what we need to do here is we need to come up with a series of row operations in order to get a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at row 2 here. So I'm going to take row 2. And what I want to do, I want to get a 0 here. Now if I subtract twice row 1, I would have 2 subtract 2, which would give me the 0. So I want to subtract twice row 1, and that will give me the new row 2. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll put another series of brackets here. And obviously we've got 1, negative 2, and 1. And that row stays the same. Row 3 also stays the same. So we have 4, negative 8, 5, and negative 5. And now we can perform our operations on row 2 here. So we take row 2, subtract twice row 1. That will give me a 0 here. 3, subtract. That will be negative 4. So negative 3 and then adding on a 4 will give us a 1 here. And 2, subtract twice the 1, that will give me a 0 here. And then here we'll have 2 minus, minus 4, um, so that will give me a 6 here. So we can see that the y term is equal to 6. Let's go ahead and work on row 3. So for row 3, I'll need to subtract 4 times row 1. So I'm subtracting 4 times row 1, and that will give me a new row 3. Now let's switch on another set of brackets here. So row 1 stays the same, 1, negative 2, 1, and negative 2. Row 2, well, 0, 1, 0, and 6. Now we've got row 3, which is 4, subtract 4, row 1. Um, that will give me a 0 here. We've got negative 8 minus minus 8, so that would give me a 0 here. And 5 subtract 4 times, that would give me a 1 here. Negative 5, um, that would give me a plus 8 here, which would give me a 3 here. So now we can see that the z or z term is 3. Now at this point, I could actually solve all three of these equations because I have a y term and a z term. I could put them into this first equation to find out what the x term is. However, let's continue and we'll go all the way and we'll get the identity matrix here. So let's go ahead and copy down a new set of brackets and place the values in from here. So now we need to operate on row one. So row one. Now, to get rid of uh, this term here, I could simply subtract row 3. So subtracting row 3, that would give me a new row 1. 
and we can switch on another set of brackets and go ahead with that. So the uh, row two and three stay the same. So we've got that and zero, zero, one and three. So row one subtract row three here, that'll give me a one. Negative two subtract zero, still gonna be negative two. And one subtract one, that gives me the zero here that I need. Negative two subtract three would give me a negative five. Now we've just got one more step to go, which is to get a zero in this position here. So again, we're gonna take row one, and this time I need to add twice row two. So add on twice row two, and that will give me the new row one. Again, these two rows stay the same. Okay, that will stay the same here. Uh, minus two, add two, row two would give me a zero. And obviously I've got zero here. Negative five and add on twice six. So minus five, add on 12 will give me seven. So now we have the solutions to these three simultaneous equations in that X is equal to seven. We've got y is equal to six from this one here, y is equal to six, and obviously z is equal to three. Now I hope you found that lesson useful, and if you did, remember to give me a thumbs up, and also in the comments below, perhaps you can tell me which country you're from, and what sort of tutorial videos you would like to see in the future.